we have performed the indicated operations. The order of operations for decimals is the same as for whole numbers and fractions. So first we have to do parentheses, next exponents, multiplication and division, and addition and subtraction. In this example, we, in parentheses we don't have any operations, so we have to go to the power. You have to write 2.1 to third power. So let me rewrite our example. We have 5. 0.4 when we don't have any sign it's always multiplication and we have 2.1 to third power so this is 2.1 times 2.1 times 2.1 divide by 0.2 so this is equal 2.1 we have to raise to the third power so 2.1, we have to multiply times 2.1 and next times 2.1. So let me do step by step. We have to multiply two, with two decimal numbers like whole numbers. So let's forget about decimal points. 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times 2 is 2. Now we have 20 times 1 is 20, 2 times 2 is 4. So we have 1, we have to add 4, 4. And we have to remember about decimal places. We have one decimal place and one, so it will be two decimal places. We count from the right to the left. The decimal point will be between four and four. And next we have to multiply our result by 2.2 also, because we have 2.1 to third power. So let's do this first. So we start from the last digits. One times one is one. 1 times 4 is 4, 1 times 4 is 4. 20 we have now because 2 is in the second column times 1 is 20. 2 times 4 is 8, 2 times 4 is 8. We have to add. So it will be 1, 6, 12, so it will be 9. And we have to count decimal places. We have 2 and 1, so we have 3 decimal places. Let's count from right to the left always so the decimal point is between 9 and 2 so we can rewrite that we have now we did the power so 5.4 we have to multiply 9 times 9.261 and at the end we have division 0 0.2 so let's do now multiplication let me write maybe this here on the top. I will always write the number which has more digits. And we have 5.4 multiplication. So let's forget about decimal points and do multiplication like whole numbers. So 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 6 is 24. So we have to write 4 and 2. We add to next column. 4 times 2 is 8 plus 2 is 10, so we have 0 and 1, we add to next column, 4 times 9 is 36, so plus 1 will be 37, and now 5 times 1, but this is the second column, 5 is the second digit, so it will be 50 times 1 is 50, 5 times 6 is 30, so we have 0, and 3 we add to next column, 5 times 2 is 10, plus 3 is 30, to add 1 to next column, 5 times 9 is 45, plus 1 is 46. And next we have to do addition. 4 plus 0 is 4, 4 plus 5 is 9, 0, 10, so it will be 1, so it will be 0, and 1, so we have 5. Next we have to count decimal places. In first number we have 3 decimal places, in the second we have 1, so together give us 4 decimal places. We count from right to the land left 2, 3, 4. The decimal point will be between 0 and 0. So we can write that we got 50 decimal point 0, 0, 94 and we have to divide by 0 0.2. Division of decimal numbers. We know that divisor must be whole numbers so we have to move decimal point to get divisor whole number one place. Whatever we did with divisor, we have to do the same with the first number, so decimal point will be between 
0 and 0. So now we will use long division and we have to set long division. We have 2 divisor and we have to divide 5, 0, 0, decimal point zero nine four. How many times we can put 5? 2 to 5. 2. 2 times 2 is 4. Subtraction. 5 minus 4 is 1. And next, what we have to do, we have to take down next digit. So it will be now 10 divided by 4 is 5. 5 times 2 is 10. To do subtraction, so will be 0. So we have to take down next digit is 0. 0 divided by 2 is 0. 0 times 2 is 0. Subtraction. What next? We have to take up decimal point exactly in the same column and take down decimal next digits down. So we have 0. 0 divided by 2 is 0. 0 times 2 is 0. So it will be 0. We will take down next digit 9. 9 divided by 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. Subtraction. One, 9 minus 8 is 1. And we have to take next digit down. So it will be 14 divided by 2 is 7. 7 times 2 is 14. So we finish long division and we can write our solution. Whatever we got on the top. On the top. This is our question. This is our solution. So this is equal to five zero decimal point zero forty seven. This is my solution.